Good morning, observers. Three interesting stories to hit today. The inner light of the ocean creatures, subtle solar forcing of Indian rainfall by various space weather parameters, a brand new public package for monitoring Earth's magnetic field, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Things are being neither silent nor chaotic. Big sunspots are turning out of view, the solar flaring remains modest at best, but the plasma filaments are now a bit unstable. In fact, you likely caught that eruptive event there going off the southern incoming quadrant. Filament lost its grip and magnetically ripped away from the corona as a plasma shock wave. Luckily, this one is not aimed at Earth, but it sure does let you know why we monitor those filaments. They can erupt just like a sunspot and solar flare. Otherwise, things are pretty calm geomagnetically. The solar wind has had only the most minor variability, surprisingly calm actually, with the coronal hole here on the left, the next likely candidate to enhance the plasma stream. Still looking like that won't be until later this week. Up first in the articles, we've got a fun one. They've discovered that the cockle shell homes of marine creatures are not so dark as you might guess. There are lenses built into the shell. Microfiber optic cells that transfer the light through the shell. In fact, that bottom row is what the illuminated shells look like in terms of light emission through the shell. Incredible. Solar forcing of Indian rainfall up next with a huge data set from the 1960s up to now. The results were simple. Trends and totals across the board correlate with sunspot numbers and solar flares. These would almost certainly be the combination of long-term thermal forcing and short-term electromagnetic forcing on cloud microphysics, now shown to be able to be applicable across time. Last but not least, folks, this is a huge one, and I'm sure there are some of you out there who can help. These guys have developed a publicly available Python package for monitoring changes in Earth's magnetic field. If you can work with that kind of data, read the paper. You may be able to help with the new initiative we're putting together. Read the paper, email us through ObserverRanch.com if you are interested and capable. As you likely know, we are doing one final run of the Suspicious Observer's gear as we make the official transition to the Space Weather News name. It's the last chance to get the SO label at the link below, and also don't forget to come see us in person. Contacting us isn't the only thing you can do at ObserverRanch.com. Lots of big events coming, including many not even on this list. Full events page at the website. Pick a date. Come see us. It starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.